welcome. I promise this video is going to be loads of fun because today I'm going to show you and play for you 20 ethnic libraries that I think every composer and producer should know about. Let's get started. So this is a video I've been asked to do many, many times by many of you and it's finally time to do this. Let's get started because I have so many libraries to go through. The first library is the Ancient Duduk. It's from Sonoscore. Let's listen to it. For many of these libraries that I'm going to play today, I don't need to talk much. The sound and the expression does the talking. This is, like I said, a library from Sonoscore, and it just sounds beautiful, uh, especially if you want to score music in the style of Dune or, you know, stuff like this, you know, to have like a little bit of a desert kind of connotation. This is going to be great. Now, I want to say straight away, and I'm going to move to the next library, I'm not a big fan of the term ethnic, you know, what does ethnic mean even, you know, <laughs> what is ethnic and to who is ethnic? So I, I'm just naming this video like this because, I, you know, I want everyone to understand what kind of sounds I'm going to play, but I'm not a big fan of the world ethnic, you know. Okay, next one, the fourth library is from Impact Soundworks and it's the Turkish Oud. I love the Oud. It's uh, one of the instruments that I want to get one at some point. Uh, I already got a mandolin. So now I think the Oud or a Renaissance lute will be my next purchase. But let's listen to it. a fretless instrument it's so hard to sample so impact soundworks did a great job here and of course if you want you can also do micro tuning right here and of course we have tremolo as well As is always the case with these videos that I make, and I've done many of these for solo strings, for strings, for choirs, make sure you check them out if you're interested. This is not going to be a review for any one of these libraries, so I'm not going to go too deep, so I'm going to play what I feel is representative of each library, and no developer is sponsoring this video, so if you want to support the channel, you know what to do, leave a like, subscribe, or use the super thanks button down below, I'm going to try and link as many libraries as possible in the comments down below. And the next library is a beautiful percussion ethnic library. And this is World Percussion 2. I'm going to start with the bass Darabuka. It's so much fun. And you know, I have to say right here, don't underestimate libraries that have been out for a long time because I have to tell you, sometimes the newer libraries are not better than these old ones. I don't know why, but it seems that for the old libraries, they took extra care to make sure that every sound is like big and natural and sometimes I find that with newer libraries you don't get this it's weird listen to this for example You know? 
And again, this library has Africa, Asia, Europe, Middle East, South America. It covers all bases. Listen, if you want me to make a dedicated video for any one of these libraries, let me know. The next instrument is going to make many of my Greek friends happy and this is the 8-string bouzouki from Impact Soundworks again. And to my ears, this is one of the best Greek bouzoukis ever. Let me play it. library is so good. Again, I can't remember when I bought this, it's been ages, but you can choose the string, you can do tremolos, but it's so easy to play fast. Uh, and this is uh, very typical of Greek bouzouki, right? I'm trying really hard to not get this video demonetized by playing <laughs> songs or themes, but... library that I've been using for ages and it's called Gypsy. This is from East West. It's probably one of the oldest libraries that I've been using. I remember I bought this while I was at the Frankfurt Music Messe back in the day like years and years ago, over 10 years ago. So let's play this. This is the flamenco guitar. Another thing that I love playing for this library is the cymbalum and it sounds like this. So you have trills and all these things. I'm going to play one more sound from this, and this is the violin. And I know there are tons of violins out there, but I still have this violin in my heart to this day. You know what I mean? So good. I don't care how old the library is, if it still sounds good and it has emotion and it has the sound, it's being used. And the next library is again from East West and it's Silk. Now this library, again, I love it. There are so many colors in this library. Let's play the Do Duke Live 2. Completely different sound to the first Dude from Sonusco, right? So, again, if you have one library, that doesn't mean that you won't have a second Dude. Uh, it doesn't go like this. So, let's go for one of my favorite things, and this is the 30 piece string section. And for me, this is a brilliant patch. Gives you an oriental kind of touch anytime. <laughs> a theme from somewhere. I can't remember what I'm playing, but I'm pretty sure this is a theme from something. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you know what it is. Let's try the legato as well. Of course, playing these Arabic scales helps a lot. And Silk has a lot of sounds. It has uh, China, it has India, it has Persian Empire. The next library is from Ample Sound and it's the China Shank. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name, but let's play it. Again, many articulations here. Harmonics. I love these. Okay, the next library is again a library that I've been used tons and it's the Voices of Passion from East West. Again, a library that's quite old, but I think it's really, really good sounding. Beautiful Bulgarian voices there. This library has won me actually pitches for films. There's one patch that won me, I think, three pitches for uh, film composing jobs, and it's this Wales Portamento patch. <gasps> I know the legato is not perfect, but I don't care. I don't care because nobody complained when I was using this back in the day. And, you know, this library also has Syria, it has uh, India. There's a lot of stuff. I'm going to play one patch from India. Oh. I mean, can't argue with that. The next library. I absolutely love, I started using it when it came out and it's the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra from Stress of Sampling. And if you want to do Balkan music, you need to have this library. If you want to write in the style of Bregovic and stuff like this, let's play a little bit. I'm going to play the Gypsy Clarinet. I mean, <laughs> it's full of expression and feeling. And um, funny thing, by the way, about the gypsy clarinets. Did you know that the thing that kind of defines the gypsy clarinet is that the gypsies that play the clarinet, they remove the taps so that they have more control over the microtonal intervals between the notes so they can tap a note but then they can leave a little bit of air to go through so that you get this micro tuning. 
very, very clever stuff, very expressive, and it's things that we don't even know in Western music. And we feel, oh, you know, the blues note. Oh, okay, you know, these people do like a million blues notes and they have so much passion and so much musicality in their playing. Hear that? I'm gonna play a few more sounds. Again, this is a huge library, so you have everything from trumpets to violins. Let's play the violin. Beautiful. Next we have two libraries, the Ethno World Voices. Again, very useful library if you want to have these beautiful phrases from different cultures. <laughs> Let's play this African children choir. And then of course we have instruments as well, Renaissance lute. Again, so many sounds, but I would need a full video to show you all of them. Next, we have the Yankin from uh, Native Instruments. And these libraries for Native Instruments, I like them because they also give you the actual scale. So you can be more in tune with the actual musical culture when you use the scales that are already included. For example, for this one, I have a pentatonic scale. Next, we have India from Native Instruments. And again, we also have these scales that are ready for you to play. So we have this beautiful sitar here with many different articulations. And the aftertouch does some cool things here. Next, we have a library that I also included in my favorite choirs library, and this is Row Dope from Stress of Sampling. This is an ethnic Bulgarian choir. Let's play it.
don't need to say much more. I'm going to jump straight to the next library, East Asia from Native Instruments again, and uh, I'm going to play the coda for you. Again, I have the key ready to go. Beautiful articulations. Next library comes from one of my favorite uh, library creators, and this is Ilya Efimov. And this is the accordion. I've been using this library for ages when I was doing library music, but also when I was um, creating music for films that had this kind of element. Let me show you. So you have all the dynamics. And then you have the different uh, sound selections. So you have the piccolo. Beautiful concertina. Clarinet. And the bassoon. And we also have articulations like the crescendo. The staccato. Next, I'm going to stick with Ilya and I'm going to play the Duduk. Again, a very different sounding Duduk, this one. can tell so beautiful next uh, third library from Ilya Efimov as you can tell I love his libraries this is the balalaika and what I like about this balalaika first of all I love the balalaika as an instrument but you will see that you can do easy tremolos it has a tremolo articulation but most of the times I use this technique So I'm using these two keys to trigger the tremolo. Next library is a library that I bought for a specific project, uh, but I found that it has a very distinct sound, and this is the Aviram Arabic Strings. And if you're looking for this kind of Arabic string sound, this library is great. Quite honestly, I think there was supposed to be an update for this library, but it seems to never come out, so I don't know what's going on, but I'm showing this to you. I bought this back in the day, and I think it's still being sold. So let's play this. <laughs> So 
So this is it, very specific sound, but if you're looking for that kind of sound, now you know. Next, we have another library from Ample Sound. This is the China Daddy. Again, I don't need to say much. Great sound, great selection of articulations. So there you go, my friends. These are just a few of the ethnic libraries that I think every composer or producer should know about. Of course, I have more. So if you want me to do a part two, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have your own library that I didn't mention, let us know in the comments down below. I'd like to know. Please don't be offended if your favorite library is not in this video. I will need hours and hours to have all the libraries that I like in one single video. So let us know which library is your favorite. Again, like I said, this video is not sponsored. So if you want to show your support, make sure you like, subscribe, or even use the super thanks button if this video helped you out or if it inspired you. And if you want to check out my own instruments and you want to support the channel, here they are, Modern 80s Drum Kit and a Paul Expansion for Pad Shop. And if you want to watch some more videos that are like this and you might like them, here's one and here's another one. Thanks so much, my friends. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.